So just find yourself a nice comfy position. And just gently close the eyes. And let the shoulders relax down away from the ears. Take some deep breaths. start to focus on our breathing so in and out through the nose if you can we start off with our deep abdominal breath so inhale in through the nose and as we exhale through the nose the belly falls back down breathing in the belly rises and then breathing out belly falls back down inhaling and the belly rises up And exhale, belly falls back down. So breathing in. And then breathing out. And we'll move on to our full yogic breath. So again, if it helps, hand on belly, hand on chest. This time then as we inhale, the belly, chest and collarbone rising up. As we exhale, collarbone, chest and belly fall back down. And breathing in the belly, chest and collarbone filling up. As we exhale all the way back down again. Breathing in and all the way up to the top. And then breathing out, inhaling, and then exhaling, okay, so we'll try and keep the breathing going like this then for the rest of this class, just a short 15 minutes or so just to uh, Help you wake up. And as always, then, if you need to stop and have a rest, or if something isn't feeling right for you this morning, then um, then taking another option or leaving a pose out completely. So we'll just gently bring the eyes open. Then we'll bring the chin down towards the chest. And as we inhale, and let's just roll the neck towards the right side. As we exhale back to center, and inhaling over to the left. As we exhale back to center again, the same again. Then inhale over to the right. As we exhale back to center, and then inhale to the left. As we exhale back down again this time then as we inhale let's start to look to the ceiling lifting up through the head stretching the front of the throat and then exhale chin back down towards the chest again breathing in looking all the way up to the ceiling and then breathing out one more then for inhaling and then exhale So with an inhale, let's bring that head back up to centre. Let's just start to roll the shoulders towards the ears and then down your back, moving them round in one direction. And then back in the opposite direction as well. And just getting some full range of motion through the shoulders. And bring them back down. So you can do this with your legs um, straight out as well. <clears throat> we'll do cat cow. So with an inhale, we're drawing the elbows back, pressing the chest forward and lifting it up. And as we exhale, then rolling the shoulders forward as the spine and the belly roll back. Inhale and then rolling forward, chest presses forward, looking up. And as we exhale, rolling everything backwards. Inhaling and rolling forward, lifting that chest. 
breath as we exhale all the way back. Great, one more of each, so breathing in. And then breathing out. Great, so then inhale then let's bring that chest back up to centre. Let's take this left hand out to the side and as we inhale let's reach this right arm up. And then exhale, let's reach over the top. And take in a few deep breaths there, chest nice and open. With an inhale, let's reach back to the ceiling. And exhale, bring this hand back down. Same on the other side. Then reaching up as we inhale. And exhaling, reaching over the top. And with an inhale, let's come back to the ceiling. So bring this hand back down. Let's take a twist in. Right hand on left knee, left hand out behind us. So nice and tall as we breathe in. Twisting the chest open then as we breathe out. So chest nice and wide. You're looking over to the side or over this um, back shoulder, whichever works best. And taking some deep breaths. then come back round, swapping over, the same thing on the other side, so nice and tall as we breathe in, and twisting the chest open as we breathe out, With an exhale, then let's come back round to centre. Good, we're going to take the legs out in front then if they're not already there. So legs straight out. And we'll take a forward fold. So with an inhale, let's reach the arms to the ceiling. And as we exhale, let's fold forward. So grab wherever you can. Grab your, um, your legs, your ankles, your feet. We use a strap around those toes. So really lengthening that chest forward. Looking past the toes, so take an inhale. As we exhale, then softening the body down towards the legs. Move in with your breath, so nice and long with an inhale. And then relaxing the body down as we exhale. Move in with that breath. So with an inhale then let's walk those hands all the way back up. So you can keep your legs out in front or cross them again, it doesn't matter. And let's reach those arms out in front then. So about shoulder height. We're going to take our right elbow over the left one, coming into eagle arms. So you can either grab those shoulders, you can press the backs of the hands together or touch the palms. Lifting those fingers to the ceiling. Thinking about the tops of the shoulders working down and those shoulder blades are working in opposite directions. Taking some deep breaths and stretching open. The back of the body. Well, with an exhale, then let's undo those hands, interlace them behind your back, then this time. So pressing the palms together if we can, we're pushing those hands down behind us, nice and wide across your chest. Maybe starting to look up again if it feels all right. So stretching open the front of the body this time. Then let's come back down. Brilliant. So coming onto your hands and knees, we'll bring toes in towards each other, then knees out nice and wide. We'll take a child's pose. So press bum on heels, coming all the way down, forehead on a pillow, wherever you've got, all the way down, wherever you can. 
And we'll just try and let those shoulders relax. We'll let those hips relax down as well. Let's take some stretching open those hips. And we'll just take some deep breaths. Arms either side of the knees as well, if that feels better. Great, so from here then keep your bum towards your heels. We're threading our right arm underneath our left one. Looking under that uh, left armpit and taking a bit of a twist. Exhale then, drawing the arm out, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So left arm under the right one this time. We're still under that right armpit. So with an inhale then, let's bring that arm back out and we'll walk those hands up towards our knees. Good, bringing the knees in towards each other then, so we're about level um, with our hips. Let's let rise up so we're um, coming to kneel. Hands in the lower back, elbows and shoulders squeezing in again, nice and wide across your chest. We're taking an inhale. As we exhale then, let's start to press the hips forward, lift the chest to the ceiling. Nice and wide across the front of the body. Taking some deep breaths again. Great. So with an inhale then, let's bring ourselves back up. So shoulders back on top of your hips. Let's pop the right hand on our right thigh. Then as we inhale, we're reaching the left arm to the ceiling. As we exhale, then hips to the left as we reach over to the right. Stretching down this side. And with an inhale then, reach back to the ceiling. As we exhale, let's bring this hand back down. Same on the other side, then inhale, take the right arm up. And as we exhale, then hips to the right as we reach the left this time. Inhale then all the way back to the ceiling. And then as we exhale, let's bring this hand all the way back down. Great, let's come back onto our bums then. If you take your legs back out in front again, <clears throat> and we'll take this, um, we'll take this left leg first, then bend your left knee back so your um, your foot's about in line with your um, with your left hip. Right leg um, can stay out in front, we can bend it in a little bit, or we can bring it all the way in. We're coming into deer pose, so we're gonna take a twist again. Um, so you've got a bit of a zigzag through the legs, see how your hips feel though. So we'll bring the left hand on our right knee, then right hand out behind us. We're nice and tall as we breathe in. Twist and open as we breathe out. So using your shoulders to bring you round again and then bring that neck round wherever feels comfy. And we're just taking some deep breaths. With an exhale, then we're coming back around to centre. Great, so let's take this right leg out first and then we'll bring the left leg out as well. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So the right knee bends, so the foot's about in line with your hip if you can. Left leg out in front, little bend, or all the way in wherever you can. So right hand on left knee, left hand out behind us this time. Same thing, then nice and tall as we breathe in. 
twist the chest open then as you breathe out, using those shoulders, bringing that neck round wherever you can. with an exhale in all the way back round to centre. Brilliant. So we'll come for a real quick um, shavasana. Now you can lay down for it um, if you'd like, as long as you don't fall asleep or we'll stay seated um, and use it more of a, as a bit of a meditation this morning. <clears throat> so wherever feels comfiest for you, we'll just gently close the eyes. And we'll just let that breath go back to normal again. So slowly in control in it, just let it come back to its normal rhythm. And just see if you can release any tension from the body, so we'll just let go of any tension through the jaw, we let go of any tension between those eyebrows. And neck and shoulders are nice and relaxed. Just let go of any tension through the spine. Hips are nice and heavy as well. And just relaxing all the way to the soles of the feet. relaxed but alert and if the mind's wandering off anywhere just either bringing it back onto a body part or bring it back onto your breathing and maybe just starting to set an intention for the day so we're using intention in a, a positive um, in a positive way so a positive affirmation so it's in the present tense so it is a good day, I am productive today, I am stress free today, I am relaxed, I am focused, so anything that resonates with you, you can bring your own ones into your mind as well and just seeing those words then in your mind's eye. Feeling out your positive affirmation and trying to carry it with you for the rest of the day. Keep bringing your awareness back to it throughout the day. laying down then we'll just gently roll ourselves over onto our right hand side and then when you're ready we'll just come back up to seated just gently thinking those eyes open well done namaste thank you very much for joining me for some uh, some pj yoga this morning um hopefully you might have heard so john's outside um, and I told him I was going to do a yoga video um, and he looked through the window and it, it might have picked it up on the on the um, recording and he said you're in your PJs I don't think he was expecting uh, me to be I think he was thinking I was going to be in the other room on my mat so um, so yeah hope uh, hope that picked it up on the on the on the video as well um, so I hope it set a nice tone for the day um, using a positive affirmation is so so helpful um, particularly when you wake up just something it's in the positive tense and um, in the present tense so it's a positive affirmation 
um, and it's really helpful to, to set the tone for the day when you wake up, move the body a little bit, set your intention um, and then try and keep that intention going through the day. So try and keep your mind on it, keep bringing your mind back to it. Um, and particularly if you've got a stressful day ahead, anything like that. So, um, so yeah, just, just 15, 20 minutes is, um, is all you need for it really. So nice to see you. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you're all feeling ready for your day ahead. And um, I'll see you soon for another class. So namaste. Thank you very much. See you soon.